Hey everybody, welcome back to another wrestling review, and today we are going to go over my predictions for the TLC pay-per-view. And we're going to start out with the team of the Wyatt Family versus Team ECW. Mm. I'm not impressed. They're doing everything physically possible to bury the Wyatt family, and now they're they're getting at the old. Now they're getting the old, washed up, has beens never wases, from the original ECW to bury them this time. I am gonna go with the underdog in the Wyatt family, but we all know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be Team ECW. Which is bad, and and they need to stop burying the Wyatt family. And I feel sorry for them. Next is going to be Charlotte versus Paige. There are they are making Charlotte into her dad. But yeah, her dad still steals the spotlight. He needs to just go, go away. This does not concern you. You are old. You are retired. Step out of the spotlight at all. Uh, always or not always, but step out of the spotlight. Period. But I'm gonna go with Charlotte, just because I don't want to see Paige with the title anytime soon. I was kind of hoping that they would have thrown a triple threat match into this being Charlotte versus Paige versus Becky. That would have made more sense to me. But it wasn't. Next we got Roman Reigns versus Sheamus. Quite frankly, I wish there was another, another Money in the Bank winner, so... We didn't have to deal with either one of these uh, no-talent wrestlers. Sheamus, no-talent, boring as hell, and we're not impressed. And Roman, nobody wants to see Roman with the title. Roman is just that boring and dull. But since I have to go with a guess, I can't go with a guess. I can't go. This is bad. This is bad. All I gotta say is John Cena save us. But if I have to go with a guess. I'll pick Sheamus because nobody wants to see Roman with it. And, and, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I did say save us, Cena, because uh, in all reality, Raw is bad without Cena. It might be bad with Cena, but it's definitely bad without Cena. And out without Seth as well. Because now, since they're gone, you got Sheamus and you got Roman in the main event. Neither one of them should be there. Neither one of them are qualified to be there. And that, that pleads my case. Next up, Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose. I can't remember if I already said this match or not. I don't think I did. But my heart wants to go with Dean Ambrose, but the logic and the uh, logic side goes with with uh with Kevin Owens. This match is going to be a good one. It's going to be a toss up. It's kind of going to be like the Dolph Ziggler match yesterday where it was good until the pop-up powerbomb. 
But since they are doing stuff, more stuff with Dean, I am going to go with Dean for the upset. Next match, the triple threat match for the tag team titles versus er, puts on the New Day versus the Usos versus the Lucha Dragons. Um, quite frankly, that the number one contendership sh should have gone back to the Usos anyway, since uh, they never really got their proper. Rematch that I know of since uh, they were hurt after WrestleMania. This whole thing is bad, to be honest. But if I had to pick, it, it it's it's gonna be it's gonna be the new day. I want to see the Usos. Don't want to see the Lucha Dragons. But I picked the New Day. The last match, and I don't know what match is. I don't know what the the pre-show is because they really haven't said much. I'm I actually was hoping it was it was the Wyatts, but you know. That could be the main, uh, not the main, that could be on the main card. Now you got Alberto Del Rio versus the a real American or the Amer all American, the all, all American American Jack Swagger, uh, roughly. Uh, Since we already know that Jack Swagger is pretty much a jobber anyway and shit. It's going to be Alberto Del Rio. Unless, unless, uh, Zeb Coulter comes to his uh, senses and helps out Jack Swagger after the little escapade. Last night with Alberto Del Rio. But. Basically you got a jobber versus a sellout. This match better be the pre-show because. I know I don't want to see it. And I know a lot of people don't want to see this. Because quite frankly both. And I'm not giving, uh, I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from Alberto Del Rio's talent because he's an excellent wrestler. It's, it's, I just don't like the fact that he, uh, he sold out to a racist company that he sued, by the way, because of the prejudice and the racism towards him just to come back to that same company. It's like it's like uh, lifting the the mat or a carpet up and and uh, uh, shoving the dust or the dirt underneath it and just laying it back down, saying, "Oh, room's all clean." But I'm gonna go with Alberto Del Rio. If I've missed any any pay per view matches, please let me know in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time on another wrestling review. Pretty much uh, TLC Aftermath. Bye-bye.